Hey YouTube, it's your boy D7 here. So in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to get the PlayStation Portable PSP on iOS 11 through to 11.2.2, 11.2.5 and above. No jailbreak is required. Big shout out to you Digital Zombie on Twitter for the heads up, Yoshi Suga for the build, and of course Nash at Tweetbox for always signing apps at a drop of a hat when I send them his way. So all you'll need is, of course, an iPhone, iPad, iPod Touch running iOS 11 and above, and a computer just to import ROMs because obviously it is sandboxed. Okay guys, so the first link in the description description is PSP iOS 11 of course when you tap that it'll bring you to tweak box if you get the advert that takes over the screen just clear Safari data come back to the link fresh via Safari hit the X top left apps and if we go to tweak box apps it should be the one that I sent this morning that one there PSP tap that install confirm and I'll go directly to your home screen okay so once installed third party procedure applies we need to manually allow access we do that by going to settings general and scroll down to you see profiles device management profiles and device management tap into that find the profile it resides in there we go PSP hit trust trust again and then you can launch the application skip and we're in so now let's get to importing the game okay guys so grab your Windows computer or Mac computer and make sure that you do have iTunes installed on it not running just installed so the second download link is going to bring you to iMazing this is going to allow us to import the ROMs just hit free download works for Mac works for PC and then last but not least of course is the ROMs it'll bring you to free ROMs where they are .iso within a zip any zip software will do so let's choose crisis core there we go tap that wait for the countdown once the countdown hit direct download link okay guys so you'll have iMazing and you'll have the game of your choice in a zip file of course we need to right click and extract or you can go old school double click into it and pull out the ISO it's the dot ISO that's the most important thing magic let's put that in the trash so we don't get confused run iMazing and you'll get the shortcut and at this point connect your device to your PC or your Mac once it's connected we want to run iMazing later okay so select your device and tap on file system apps and find the PSP there it is PSP documents and it's in here we put the ISOs not in the PSP just beside it drag and drop it in it's gonna say you've got a limit which is a hundred up to a hundred uh, items you can transfer which is fine continue and that will put it in the correct place for you Magic. So once you do see the .iso in the documents, we can clean that up and we can disconnect and play the game. Okay, so let's load it up. Wait for the ad. Hit skip. So the last important thing you need to do before loading the game is going to settings, tools, developers tools, and where it says JIT, you need to switch that to IR. That is to fix games crashing on boot. Okay, so once you've done that, we're all good to go. I'd also like to state I haven't messed around with any of the performance settings. iPhone X plays it 100% as it is. If you are running this on a slightly older device and you run into any problems graphically or performance wise, I'll have my speed performance settings in the description and you, it's just a ticking exercise. You go to settings and then just cross check with what's in the description if you get any problems. I haven't come across any problems on iPhone X. And of course, if you ever want to save or load progress, just hit the top notch and you've got all your options there. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Have fun with it. It's your boy D7 as always. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys real soon.